Good afternoon. We're joining you live from Brooklyn, New York. Thank you for tuning in to BCTV News. Today we're going to investigate the question, is the ARC browser even a good browser anymore? Or rather, is the ARC browser actually the worst web browser on the market? Now you might say that's crazy. ARC browser is regarded by some to be the best modern browser. It's beautifully designed, helps you organize your tabs, and has powerful features like split view and picture in picture. Arc is famously super fast with zero performance issues. It's coming to Windows any day now, and The Verge even called it the Chrome replacement I've been waiting for. But now I would like to present the alternate case. It's October 2023, almost a whole year after AI began, and the browser company has yet to make a move integrating the most impactful technology of our time into its browser arc. So where in the world is the browser company? Are they asleep at the wheel? uninterested, too focused on cute flashy gimmicks, missing the technology that will define the next decade, maybe even century? These are the pressing questions of our time. So today I'm headed to the browser company to speak, to with, to speak with CEO Joshua Miller and ask the hard questions around why Arc is the last browser in the world to add AI and what this says about, about the browser company. Josh, welcome to BCTV News. Thank you for having me, Mabel, and thank you for tuning in. It's so awesome you all are here with us. There's a lot to talk about, but first let's start with your competitors. You've been falling, you've been falling a bit behind. What do you attribute that to? Starting with the tough questions. <laughs> uh, to be honest, we, we've been prototyping AI features since January. Our team has built over 30 AI-powered features this year, but what we found is the technology at times was unreliable, it was expensive, it was slow. And along the way, we kept seeing AI launch after AI launch that promised the world. It promised the future, it promised transformation, and we just time and time again got a little bit let down by the hype. And so we were skeptical, we, we are a bit skeptical. But at the end of the day, at the browser company, we are optimists, and we do believe this technology is real. So we did what we always do best, we just try to have fun with it, and build the internet that we want for ourselves and we want for our members. And so today, we are so excited to announce Arc Max. It is a bundle of starting with five AI-powered features that we hope makes your day on the internet just a little bit faster, just a little bit easier. The small moments, a little bit less internet. Well, it seems like we have a lot to talk about, but before we get in too deep, here's a short segment from our sister company, BCTV QVC, who got early access to ARC's newest AI features, ARC Max. Folks at home, if you have any questions, please include them in the chat, and we'll be right back. How are you doing this morning, Abby? Thanks for asking, Nathaniel. I am doing brilliantly. That is wonderful to hear. But your day is about to get even better. Oh, I don't think that's possible. And viewer, your life is about to get even better. 
it's true. with this incredible new thing I have to show to you today called Arc Max. Arc Max, that sounds really expensive. And it should be. But the folks at the browser company who made it are giving it away 100% for free. And this is really the best deal we've ever given our viewers. And we love to tell you so much more about it. But we gotta run to a commercial break. I'll see you right back here. Don't touch that dial. Now, Abby, what's your least favorite part of using the internet? Let me think about it. It's gotta be reading. There's just so many words out there. And then clicking. So much clicking. I can't well, take it. Well, have I got a new feature for you. Five second previews. Let's say you're in between meetings and quickly need to decide where you want to eat dinner tonight. That happens all the time. All the time. <laughs> With this first Arc Max feature, all you have to do is hover. <gasps> And just like that, oh, in five seconds, gosh. we've got a preview. Wow. It tells you everything you need to know. Would you look at that? About the restaurant. There's no reading, there's no scrolling, there's no being pestered oh to join gosh. a waiting list or a newsletter or looking at ads or anything like that. Just hover. No. Who knew it completely processes the information for me? I don't have to do a thing. You don't have to do a thing with Arc Max. So you might be wondering, can I get five second previews on any website? Exactly. And most people don't know this, but the answer is yes. Yes. Let me key you no. in on a little no, trick. No. So, so here we are in the site. Why don't you hover over the link? Nothing. Not a. Let me give you a little tip. All right. See that shift key on your keyboard? Yes. Press it. Keep it held down. You got two of them. In five seconds, you've read that link. That's oh just my God. any old link. It's true. It's there. All I needed to do is shift. Wow. So we're done. That's a wrap. Arc Max sounds fantastic. How do I get? Well, it's really easy. Just go to your ARC command bar and type max. Max. M-A-X. M-A-X, that simple. But I think you made a mistake there. We're not even halfway through what oh. ARC max can do. There's more max? There's so much more How much max more max left. can there be? Well, there's so much more. Let me show you one of my favorite features. It's called tidy tab title. Say that five times fast. I can't, <laughs> but I can show you five times fast. Let's say that you're shopping for an iPhone accessory. I do that all the time. Gotta accessorize. So here's what it would look like in Chrome. Well, it's just it's just so many, so many tabs. I can't read anything. It's 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 too much internet. It's too much internet. You can't read anything. All the tabs are the same. It's total nonsense. Well, Abby, with tidy tab titles, no more. No more. Watch this. I'm gonna take this title with this, this tab with this big long name, and I'm gonna drag it into my pin section. And okay. just like that, Arc is gonna rename it. <gasps> Look at Short. That. Look at that. Four words or less. It's like magic. S super concise. Well, can it do more? Can, is it? Does it work every time? It works on anything. Here's this article. You know, it's a nice title, but it could be a little shorter. It doesn't fit in my sidebar, so I drag it into the pin section. And look at that. Now it fits. Perfect fit. <laughs> I don't even have to read the article. I know. I know what it's about now. <laughs> exactly. And it gets better with recipes. Simple, simple titles. Crispy, Crispy shredded, shredded chicken. chicken. That's what a human being would say. Now, tab titles are not the only thing that Arc Max can rename. Abby, you want to show me your downloads folder? Well, what's this rated? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. PUH7BB6.pdf. PU, what is that? Does it smell bad or something? It certainly looks bad. I mean, it's just yeah. a mess. It's a mess. I've lost years of just searching for a download. And yeah. you're about to get those years back. We'll also generate a perfect, beautiful, tidy, and crisp name for your download. It will show you exactly where the download came from and title it perfectly and concisely. Now, surely that just has to be it. And you're telling me this is all for free? It is 100% free. Can't believe it. But Abby, I haven't even told you about my favorite Arc Max feature. No way. It's called no way. Ask on Page. It's a genius feature. So let me show you. All right. Let's show. say you're reading this article, right? All it's right. about this woman suing McDonald's because of the coffee. She's suing again? She's suing again. Coffee was too cold this time. People. And let's take a look here. All right. uh, so normally in your browser, you might use Command F to search. And of course that works. But searching on a page right. is, is yeah. pretty terrible. So what if you could just ask it anything? Like, is this woman in the right for suing McDonald's? 
and I type in the question. Look at that. Oh my God. So not only will it answer our question for us right there, but it will also pull out a little excerpt and you can click find on page and it'll take you right there and it'll show you the exact part of the article oh that answers your question. Goodness, talk about years back. Years back from your life. So much stuff you could avoid reading because we brought you right back to the place where you need to be. All right, that's it. Arc Max. That's it, that's Max. it. What do you think? I, I'm just blown away. I'm lost for the words. Something could be that artificial, but that intelligent. I know, and you and anyone at home can get it for what? free right now. For free, right now. I mean, it's the first thing I'm doing when I get home. So Abby, what do you type into the command bar again? You type in just M-A-X. Max. Max, -A -X. that's simple. It's so Super simple. simple. Now, I didn't want to do this, but I get the sense that, that some people might be hesitating, wavering on this, and so we decided last minute call from headquarters, we're gonna sweeten the deal. Just give you a, little a little bit. Something special. A little this additional is good. feature. This is good. You, can you, you take imagine, it away. You take can it you away. imagine what it is? A little additional feature. It's called ChatGPT in the command bar. It's really simple. In the command bar, you can search ChatGPT. You don't have to go to that funky website. Not so great. <laughs> super easy, super seamless. It's just right there. It's so, yeah. right there. God, it just keeps coming, doesn't it? All right. Well, I think that's all for today, folks. That's all for today. And remember, Arc Max. Less internet. More time. Life to the max. Get it today. M-A-X. M-A-X. Well, that was a lot of information that we just saw. But first, let's talk about the journey and what led you to today. Honestly, it was a whirlwind because we woke up one day and thought, are we about to go out of business? Because everyone kept talking about how AI was going to change everything. The browser was gonna disappear, the search engine was gonna disappear. And so we were kind of scared, honestly. We, we kind of scrambled and thought, we gotta do something fast. And again, what we found was the technology was expensive, it was unreliable, uh, it was slow. And so we stopped, we stopped altogether. But, but something didn't feel quite right because the technology is real, the breakthroughs are real. And so we ended up realizing is, just because it's not going to boil the ocean doesn't mean it can't make your day on the internet a little bit better, a little bit faster. And we went back to the drawing board, and I'm really proud of the features we're announcing today. Scared, going out of business, I probably would have stopped, but yet you continued. How and why? <laughs> yeah, do you like spell check? Actually, yeah. Oh, my voice just cracked. You like spell check. <laughs> I, I, thank you to whoever invented spell check. It's this miraculous piece of software that just makes these little moments in your day better. And so what we realize is we can be skeptical, we can be wary of the hype, but that doesn't mean we can't find these little moments where we can save you a click, save you a couple minutes. Uh, and so that's what we did. You mentioned small, you know, little. So how do you take those next steps to, or do you want to go larger? I mean, little to who? You know, I, I was on vacation with my in-laws recently, and my sister-in-law, who has four kids, was about to board a long flight. And she turns to me and she goes, Josh, if I can just have 10 minutes on this flight to myself, I will be so happy. And so the way we think about it is if we can give you a couple clicks back, a couple little minutes back and seconds here and there, like that's, that's not small, that's huge. That is what software should do for you and that's what we try to do. There has been a lot of uncertainty throughout this process. How have you gotten past it and what, what motivates you to keep going? Honestly, we are so uncertain about all of this and we're really relying on all of you. We, we're excited, we're proud of the work we did, but it is early innings for this technology. The Play-Doh is still, un, you know, still getting formed. And so the point of this release is to turn to all of you and do what we've done time and time again and said, hey, we built this, we had fun with it, we think it's good, but do you think it's good? And so we are promising to our members, we're gonna keep these Arc, Arc Max features on for at least 90 days Anyone can use it for free. And at the end, we're going to turn to our members once again and go, is this good? Is this useful? Should we do more of it? Or should we rip it out altogether? And we're open-minded about what comes next. You come across very transparent um, and committed. So how do, you, how do you incorporate what your viewers are sharing with you, your subscribers, the people that believe in what you're doing, and, and what are the next steps? Yeah, I mean, honestly, Mabel, some of our best features in art came from ideas from our members. We have a membership team that their entire job is just to listen to all, all, all of you out there watching. So we're going to keep doing what we've always done and, and keep our ear to the ground and see what our members think. 
What would you say is one of the best features about ArcMax? Yeah, for me, I just moved to a new city. And so whenever I see a, you know, a restaurant in the corner that looks interesting or someone drops me a recommendation in, I, in a WhatsApp, I love to pop in the name of the restaurant in Google and then quickly hover over five or six different reviews for the restaurant. And in the time it would usually take me to read one review, I can just get a lay of the land for the restaurant and whether or not I should go. I think that's one of my favorites. A feature to definitely keep in mind. Well, we have uh, some questions from our audience. We have one from Los. Do you have any regrets? <laughs> uh, not yet, probably soon, but I will say if I had to predict, you know, the theme of this year for the browser company and for Arc has been about refinement, about sculpting down what we've built to the bare necessities and really hardening the foundations, making Arc fast, stable, secure, a little more simple, a little more easy to use. And I'm really nervous that people will think that this release means that Arc's going to get bloated, that we're just like our competitors, tacking these things on to the sides. That's not what we're doing. And if you look really closely, we didn't add any buttons. We didn't add anything new. We just took these features and workflows like Command F that you use every day on the internet, made them a little more intelligent, a little more smarter, just, just there for you to save you a couple clicks and save you some time. But I would have a lot of regrets if people felt like Arc was getting bloated. And we promise you that is not going to happen in 12 months' time. Arc's going to be smaller and have fewer things than it has today. We have another question from Jackson. More information on Windows? <laughs> Windows when? <laughs> um, uh, the majority of our company is working on Arc for Windows right now. As some of you may know, we're trying to build a Windows application in a way that nobody has ever done before in Swift. So it's a pretty heroic undertaking with a lot of twists and turns like everything. Uh, but, but it's coming very soon. It is our number one priority right now, and our, we've set a bar. We want to build the best Windows application that has ever been released. Uh, it's not going to be easy, but we're really excited about it, and we know it's a top priority for everyone. You've touched on it, but what's Postmax? You know, the fun thing about this job and the hard thing about this job is you never know what's going to come next. We didn't expect to be working on AI this year in the way we are. But we are focused on performance. We want Arc to be super fast. We don't want the battery to drain. We just want the nuts and bolts to be solid. So we're going to continue to do that. Windows, as I just mentioned. And then, you know, many of us joined the company. And part of the reason I wanted to start the company was I want my friends, my family, my colleagues, my internet friends and strangers, I want them in my web browser experience. We think software is at the best when the people are there first and the people are at that, that they, they are there in the software. And so we don't exactly know what that means yet, but expect in the next few months for the people in your life and that matter most to come to your web browsing experience. You mentioned fast, high performance. So from a technical aspect, in layman's terms, for those of us that are not tech savvy, how do you go about doing, so, doing that? Yeah, you're asking the wrong guy, but <laughs> I will try my best to represent the team. Uh, there are two ways to do that. One are things like ArcMax today, which are about the perception of speed. If we reduce the number of clicks it takes you to do something you do every day, you feel faster. If we just go ahead and do something for you, you feel faster. And then we have some of the most excellent minds in our industry getting to the nuts and bolts of our software to make sure it is optimized and it is efficient and it runs smoothly on your machine. So we have a long way to go. Thank you for your patience, but it is absolutely continues to be a priority for us. Well. You've heard it here first. Max is now live in ARC. Open your command bar and type in ARC Max. It's been a pleasure, Josh. Thank you for joining us on BCTV News. Thank you, Mabel. And honestly, <laughs> thank you to all of you. We had fun with this. We hope you had fun, too. Uh, we just are so grateful, as always, for the support. It keeps us going. So we'll see you on the internet. Have a blast with Max. And good night. Good night. Goodbye. Good afternoon. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you've been a fantastic audience. I'm Mabel. We'll see you next time live on BCTV.